somebody definitely sent me that cute shit uh, that he said about um, me not having no money. I want to see if you're the real deal. Test, see me, see if I'm the real deal. <laughs> yeah, hold on, oh God. Niggas talking that 50 cents, I be talking 50 mil. Niggas talking that Timmy Turner, let the niggas get killed. Bubba Dub would say, trash. You throw a motherfucking concert in Louisiana and don't book no Louisiana legends and put no bankroll in no Louisiana legends pocket, but you pay the police a half a million dollars. What type of bitch ass shit is that? Gang, I'm 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 willing to sit down and talk and peaceful and and just you know go have some drinks or have something to eat or maybe I can take you to my grandma's house and you know let her give you some real soul food. Just see me, see if I'm the real deal. <laughs> First of all, shit is not dentures. These are my grills, right? <laughs> and what happened was, um, you know, I have to go get implants put in. So I have implants, and I got them 20 years ago. And every 20 years, you got to switch them out. So I have to do a surgery, pause, oral, and uh, the fucked up shit is. Once they do it, and yeah, so I'm gonna show you what. Okay, there you go. So that's what happened, the prince. But you know, I thought it was hilarious. I ain't tried to edit it. I think it's good for jokes and shit. Um, but yeah, they're not dentists, and I think it's hilarious. But anyway, what I think y'all need to do is download American New. Let's get back to the point. And the point was, um, uh. I have a television network and people are in the television network business, 50 specifically, and I wanted to see what his network was like. I wanted him to launch. I wanted to compare and I wanted to push each other to be great. I want to see how good his network is. I want y'all to see how good my network is and let the people decide. And that's all, you know, but regardless, I do want to say thank you again. And these shit might pop out again. I mean, I already know they will until I get the operation and, you know, I still got to talk. But what I'm going to do is, uh, I think Brian Barber's going to pop on. All right, hey, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, they, they, they weren't, my, my grills fell out. They know the fucking teeth. But y'all can make a teeth if you want. I, I mean, I'll laugh at the joke. But if, let's say that was the truth, I feel away. It was just my grills. And these are special because, I ain't going to get to it. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. Uh, uh, and keep the jokes. They're not dentures. Are dentures with diamonds and stuff? Yeah, these are diamond dentures. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Bro, I just wanted to hit you up and um, tell you I, I love what you're doing, man. You, you popped, you had, had them pop out, huh? Sometimes you got to pop out on niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this shit wild, bro. <laughs> sometimes when you got to get people to respond, you got to pop out. You know what I mean? Never, I love that. I love that, man. Now, I was telling them, like, I just got to get some, I got to get some work done. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been 20 years since I had my implants, so I got to get new implants. So I was like, I'm going to put these on until then. And, uh, you know, they, they not, if they were dentures, that shit would be funny, but the jokes is hilarious. But, <laughs> but I do like the attention is garnering, is keeping the word going. Yeah. And, you know, places like the Shade Room and, you know, TMZ and all that, they won't post up anything. Like, they weren't posting up the, the challenge. So, right. you know, something stupid they're going to post up. So I appreciate them finally posting this challenge up. But I do think it's beneficial and healthy for um, people that are in the network business to bring awareness to the right way to do a network. So, so catch me up, Dame Lake, because, you know, I'd be on and off IG. I don't really be on there like that. So catch me up. Like, how 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 did you even get to this? To what? Like, what, 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 what yeah. Like, oh, how no, this, he just, like, just said some slick shit. Like, you know, he was, like, saying that, um, I guess, because I remember I got to find that clip I did for MTV when I was saying a million dollars wasn't no money. And a million dollars in this world is no money. Like, if you live in the project and you get a million dollars, and you continue to live in the projects, then it's a lot of money. But when you get a million dollars, you're going to upgrade your living. You're going to want to live like a millionaire. And, still, and the minute you buy a bag of potato chips, you're not a, a millionaire no more. So I knew, like, the first year, you know, I, got, I think I made my first million maybe before 20. And I, I thought I was rich. And I saw how it evaporated. And I saw how at the end of uh, a year, I owed taxes, I had bills, and I was fucked up again. So I didn't want that to happen to anybody else. So in the mix of that, he was like, yo, he ain't got no money. But, you know, somebody as, 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 as uh, with the stature of 50 Cent, 
that 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 garnishes so much attention, particularly or anybody. If, if they're going to bring you into the conversation, you have to uh, appreciate that, and you have to make sure you take advantage of it. So I felt like he called me out in front of everybody in a certain way, not the worst way. So I feel like you know, if that's the case, I'm a competitive guy. Let's be competitive in the verticals that CEOs should have. Right. So if you if you have a television network, and this is the power of having a television network that you own. If you could own a television network, you could drop movies whenever you want. You could drop your network whenever you want. But it's not that as simple as people think. You know, your technology got to be right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know, the movies have to be good. But, but not only, like, you could get a, a, a streaming service and license a bunch of people's shit or even put a bunch of, you know, movies like Tubi does on it from other creators. But I actually direct a lot of the but content, original content. I'm, I'm, confused, I'm confused because I, I thought that 50's deal was with uh, Lionsgate. Well, from what I read, like, I don't be knowing nigga business, but it seems like they did a venture to do a streaming service or a network. So he has the backing, he should have the technology, and he should have all of the resources to launch because he got money. Me, I chose, I want to own my shit 100% right. or my family. I, I, want, I don't want to ask for no, no nothing. And if I want to make a movie, I got to pay for it myself, and I make a lot of movies. Hence, I'm broke. So you can call that broke, but, you know, I, I, I believe that, you're going to be broke if you sell finance. Anything. Yeah. yeah. And, and I have a lot of dreams, but you, you know, not many people are broke for that. <laughs> and, and it's a luxury for people to want to pay for your other shit, but it's a, a nightmare because then they tell you what to do. So right. I know how I felt when I made pay the full and I didn't like the Weinsteins trying to tell me what to do. I didn't like them trying to tell me who should write it, how to direct it, asking them for money. I didn't, I, I didn't like the fact that I made something about my culture and they benefited from it so much. So I was like, I got to do my own. Right. So how, I don't want to have to ask. How difficult, is it? How, how difficult has it been? I mean, I'm an artist, right? And I'm known to be a businessman. But when you, when I'm doing art, I love it. I know, I'm sure when you're directing and, and, and you're doing it, when you're actually in it, besides, you know, the setup and post, the actual shooting and, and editing and the whole creative process, you love it. So I love it. I love being a creative. I love not having to ask and... You know, I love being able to tell the stories I want to tell and put the people in the movies that I want to. So if I had to ask, I wouldn't have been able to discover Kevin Hart. I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to say, yo, get off the stage and do a movie tomorrow. I right. wouldn't have been able to do that. Right. You know, I, my, I got an honor up. My OG, the niggas I used to be on, the, they're all, all my friends are in that movie. You understand what I'm saying? I was able to do that, to tell my story with the people I actually did it with. We couldn't scratch it up, nothing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So... It's a lot of moving parts. Number one is the creative process, but then it's also, you know, finding someone like I was lucky enough to get with a prophecy, my man who does, does the technology and all that, and be able to have the ad tech to be able to make it free to, to be, you know, I've, I've done three or four different networks and the technology just wouldn't work. So the technology. Oh, you've, been, you've been doing this. I know that. Like you've yeah. been. So you, like, I, you've I, knew what, I knew it was the future, right? Like to me. If you don't have a network, you're not you're not in the game no more. Like before, it was like oh, you gotta have a record label. Everybody has a record label. So the next thing, and to me, the next wave, what I, I kind of saw this years ago was um, to have a television network. But like, who's gonna give me a television network? Who's gonna hire me to run a television network? Right. I, I'm gonna put all my franchises on somebody else's block. I'm not right. gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Shit, like my legacy. Like I got. If you go to YouTube right now, Dan. I got like six million views. Right. The work I did. The problem was I didn't own none of my shit. Six billion views. And even if I owned it, I wasn't gonna make no money on YouTube. So I well, you gonna get the full benefit of the CPM. You won't make the money you're supposed to make. Oh, uh, they, they, they weren't. My my grills fell out. They wasn't fucking teeth. But y'all can make it teeth if you want. I, I mean, I laugh at the joke. But if, let's say that was the truth. I feel away. It was just my grills. And these are special because I mean, look at the truth. But anyway, I appreciate y'all, uh, 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 and keep the jokes, but download America. I have a new album coming out. I'm ready to battle on that. Freeway album. I got a ski album, the original producer of Reasonable Doubt, 24-hour karate school coming out. Pause on the music vertical. We got two, I mean, we got books out. Dusko Goes to Space, Dusko Goes to Sea on that vertical. And we got the sunglasses. We got the pause and the CEO button. We got the CEO sneakers. I mean, you know, that's what you do. So yeah, yeah. I want y'all to dream. I want y'all to fight for your dream. I want y'all to know the dream don't happen overnight, but you can win. And it comes with, you know, all type of 
um, um, uh, all type of, of, of different obstacles and challenges, and and but you got to push through it. That's the test, and you're going to get tested every single day. That's what life is for: getting tested. So check out America New. I'm broadcasting the celebrity boxing Shane Mosley fight pay per view on in in September, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. They're not dentures. A dentures with diamonds. Diamonds is tough. Yeah, these are diamond dentures. <laughs> All right, y'all. I appreciate it. Now, this is broke. I'm good with it. Oh.